This is 17-year-old Piper Lewis, who stabbed her alleged rapist more than 30 times in June of 2020 when she was 15 years old. She stabbed this man, Zachary Brooks, who was 37 years old. She said she was overcome with rage after he raped her. Piper was initially charged with first-degree murder in his death, but agreed to plead guilty in June 2021 to charges of voluntary manslaughter and willful injury. She was going to be sentenced on September 7th of this year, but a judge pushed it back. She could face up to 10 years in prison for each charge. In the months leading up to the stabbing, Piper had repeatedly run away from home and started sleeping in the hallway of a Des Moines, Iowa building. She initially moved in with a man living in the building, but uh, left after he became verbally, physically, and sexually abusive to her, she says. She moved into an apartment with another man, but that man started using her for sex trafficking. In May of 2020, she was introduced to Zachary Brooks. She said he sexually assaulted her repeatedly over a three-day period. She was trafficked into the sexual encounter with Brooks. She alleged that he forced her to drink vodka and smoke pot before he raped her. She said that after he fell asleep, after the alleged attack, she grabbed a knife from his nightstand and attacked him. She said, quote, I was overcome with rage without thinking. I immediately grabbed the knife from his nightstand and began stabbing him. Prosecutors have never disputed that Piper was a victim of sex trafficking. Dan Larson, a program administrator at the Polk County Juvenile Detention Center, suggested to the judge that Piper either get probation or a community release program. Piper was sentenced yesterday, September 13th. Prosecutors took issue with her calling herself a victim. They argued that Zachary Brooks, despite having allegedly drugged and raped an unconscious Piper Lewis, didn't pose an immediate threat to her when she stabbed him. Piper's judgment was to pay $150,000 in restitution to Zachary's family. She was also sentenced to five years of probation. She was ultimately granted a deferred judgment, meaning her guilty plea will be expunged when she meets her stringent probation requirements, including completing 200 hours of community service every year for three years and wearing a GPS tracking device for five. If she violates her probation, she could be sent to prison to serve a 20-year term. The judge said to her, quote, this is the second chance you've asked for. You don't get a third. As of today, Wednesday, a GoFundMe for Piper's restitution and university cost had raised over $200,000.